YouTube, what's going on? With AP coming back with another one, let's get it. You know I gotta keep the fire coming, let's keep it rolling. Today I have a great one. Today I'm gonna talk about why men need rejection from women to build confidence. Yes, why men need rejection from women to build confidence. And what men have to realize, you get rejected by a gal, it's never personal. That's what a lot of men have to realize, it's never personal. We all have a type, right? We all have a type. You may not be her type. Period, point blank. She could be going through something that day to the point where that day she just has tunnel vision. She don't even want to be entertained. Like you could, you be trying to approach her, trying to talk to her or whatever. And she could be going through something that day. So she doesn't even want to be bothered. That could be a possibility. Or shit. She may not even like men. <laughs> you ever thought about that? She may not even like men. So you can't take rejection personal. And what rejection is supposed to do, it's supposed to build thick skin. Because a lot of men, when they talk to women, they get, they tense up. This is what men do when they talk to women. They either tense up and get nervous and don't know what to say. Or they try to prop themselves up and, and brag and try to act like there's something that they're not. Those typically the two actions you'll get out of a man when he encounters a, a girl that he actually likes. That he actually likes. And you know what's so funny? When a guy, when a guy doesn't like a girl, when he doesn't find her attractive, when he when he's not into her sexually. You know what's funny? He's always going to be himself. You know why? He's going to be himself. Like when he doesn't want to have sexual relations with that girl, the guy's always going to be himself. Un subconsciously, he's going to be himself because when we don't want sex from a girl, when we don't want sex, and we don't find a girl attractive, we, we naturally just be our natural selves as men it's weird but as soon as we want some sex or we want something out of a girl we start we begin to act a certain way to get to get some sex so why do i say we begin to act a certain way we begin to act really nice all of a sudden we begin to act like really nice or we try to you know as men we try to prop ourselves up to act like that gal like she's missing out on something if she don't get with us that's typically how we do when we like a gal. But when we don't like a gal, we, we just be ourselves. And the gal end up liking us. Isn't that weird? Isn't that ironic? That she the gal end up liking you when you just being yourself and you don't have any sexual attraction to her? her? Isn't that weird? But I say that to say women can always see see when you being yourself and when you're not. Sometimes a girl may reject you just to see your reaction. Just to see your reaction. Because she may want to know. She may want to know, are you the is she the only one that you talk to? Because if she's not, I mean, if you don't give a if you keep it pushing. You know, she, you know, you're talking to a guy, she rejects you or whatever, and you just keep it pushing. You'll have another chance with that guy down the line. Potentially, you could potentially have another chance with that guy because if you didn't get all bent out of shape and all irritated because you got rejected, she she's gonna know you either have other gals that you deal with, or you just have that thick skin that I talked about earlier. And that's rare to have thick skin because. That carries on in life when you have thick skin. When you have thick skin, that means, you know, you can deal with situations or you can, or you can take some heat or you can take some heat that's, that's throwing your way when you have thick skin. So that goes a long way. So women sometimes will reject you just to see if you have that thick skin, just to see how you'll react. You never take it personal. 
I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. As a guy, this should be your goal. This should be your goal as a guy. Real talk. Hear me out. Real talk. You should want to get rejected so damn much by women. You get to the point where you just nonchalant when you talk to them. Because when you be nonchalant when you talk to them, you're actually being yourself. You should be nonchalant and watch how your success rate goes up as you become nonchalant and you don't care no more. As you don't have as much feelings involved, as much investment involved. Watch how your success rate improve just with women in general. I guarantee you. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Women can tell like when you're tense and you, you really want to close that deal. They can feel that. They can feel it. That's fact. They can feel that for sure. But as a guy, as you as you get into your, as you reach a certain age, you want to be able to talk to women so nonchalantly or whatever to the point where you just have a casual conversation with her. Once you get to the point where you have a casual conversation with her and you don't really care about you know where the conversation goes, if you actually get sex from her, this or that, should it begin to fall in your lap? It will. She will begin to fall in your lap. So don't take it personal. Like I say, rejection from women, don't take it personal. You may not be her type. She could have a lot going on that day. She got tunnel vision that day. She got a lot of bullshit going on. She ain't even, she don't even want to be approached. So don't take it personal. She might not even like God, shit. <laughs> she might not even like God, shit. So never take it personal. Never take it personal. So while rejection for women, you should build confidence in men. Facts. You should have that thick skin. Don't ever take it too serious. It's never that serious. Like who gives a shit? Like just have casual conversation. Like, but men always have an agenda or they want sex. They can't just talk to women without, you know. Most men can't talk to women without having sexual desires and shit like that. I mean, so. It is what it is in that capacity. But let me know what y'all think, though. Rejection supposed to build confidence and thick skin. Over time. Over time. Over time. I got to add that because you keep getting rejected. You're going to feel like something wrong with you. And it could be something wrong with you. But you got to analyze yourself also. You can't be pressed. You can't be pressed. Let me know what y'all think. Drop something down in the comments. I'm going to keep the fire coming. I love it. Hit that bell icon. Two of these videos coming so rapid, so consistent. You will miss one. Comment, like, subscribe. That's where you can help and share the video. I'm going to keep the fire coming. Comment, like, subscribe. Knock another one out. Bop, bop, bop. Let's get it.